Uh, today's a big day for Texas lawmakers. Either way, you're taking a live look at our state capitol where a special legislative session will begin this morning. A lot of issues that Governor Greg Abbott wants lawmakers to talk about. Some of them could not be agreed upon during the regular session earlier this year. Bryce Newberry joins us now live near the state capitol with more on what we can expect over the next month. Bryce. Well, Rob, good morning. Governor Greg Abbott set out 11 different priorities that he wants lawmakers to tackle starting this morning. And he shared those issues just about 24 hours before they're set to convene later on this morning. Some of those issues, again, already came up during the regular session without agreement from state lawmakers. So let's take a look at this full list of issues. Some of the more controversial ones include election reform, abortion access, transgender rights and youth sports, and critical race theory. Lieutenant Governor Dan Patrick Patrick calls some of these conservative bills that the House killed during the regular session. So as lawmakers get back to work today, we talk to leaders from both parties about what the next several weeks are shaping up to be and how these controversial topics can be agreed upon. I do think uh, that you'll see things move expeditiously um, as this call, because they are, it's pretty simple, straightforward, as you've mentioned, things that we've discussed before. Uh, but unfortunately, I think a majority of our time, majority of my time, will be in uh, battling back some culture war issues that divide us. One of the other big issues lawmakers will have to address is funding for the legislative branch. That's something that Governor Greg Abbott vetoed after House Democrats staged a walkout to kill the election reform bill. If it's not fixed, more than 2,000 legislative staffers would go without their paycheck when the new budget starts on September 1st. So this special session could last for up to 30 days. The governor can add new items to the agenda at any point. And this is not the only special session expected this year. Another one is planned for this fall. That's when state lawmakers will have to convene again to redraw the legislative boundaries and decide how to spend federal COVID relief money.